What does it mean to trust someone? I think I have a memory from childhood, a recurring experience that I think will describe trust quite well. Let me set the scene. I'm at a family party in the winter. It's cold outside, it's getting late, and all the adults have been staying up, strolling down memory lane. And young Christian is starting to get kind of tired. So I lay on the couch and drift off to sleep. When the time comes, my mom or my dad comes and wakes me up and gives me my coat and my shoes. And we begin to make our way to the car. Now I know that outside at night in the winter is the last place I want to be, having just been woken up. But lo and behold, my dad has warmed up the car. What a gift. I sit in, my, in the car, I put my seatbelt on, and I drift back off to sleep for the remainder of the drive home. We get back home, and I'm directed once again inside, and I go straight to bed. Almost every step of this journey, from one house to the next, has been prompted and guided by someone else other than me. Now, of course, this is a very simple image, but I think it's a very profound image for trust because trust is woven throughout. I trust my parents in the first place that I need to go with them, that we have to leave the party, even if I may not want to. I trust that my parents are going to be taking me home. I trust that they're taking me somewhere I want to go. I trust that the car ride home will be safe so I can sleep peacefully. Throughout all of this, I trust that there is nothing that I need to worry about. So what does it mean to trust in someone? It means that you feel you know who someone is deep down. You know their intentions. You know their desires. You know their hopes. You know them to be dependable and reliable. It means you accept someone for who they are and who you have come to know them to be. And in our deepest and most intimate relationships, trust means that you truly love someone. And brothers and sisters, this is what we affirm today on this Divine Mercy Sunday. We affirm our trust in Jesus Christ. We affirm our trust in his loving mercy for us. We affirm our trust in his promise of peace that we hear in the gospel. But it's important to remember that we don't place our trust in merely ideas. At the end of the day, we ultimately place our trust not in something, but in someone. And this is true for our faith as well. We place our trust in Jesus Christ, who is alive and active in our lives and the lives of those around us. We place our trust in Jesus Christ who has been raised from the dead and comes to us even when we, like the disciples, have our hearts locked behind closed doors. So how do we grow in trust in Jesus? Ultimately, growth in trust in Jesus is the same as growth in trust with anyone else, with any of our relationships. It requires a relationship. It requires investment in the other. And it simply requires time. So are we willing to grow in our trust in Jesus? Are we willing to spend time with him? to share our hearts with him so that he in turn can share his heart with us? Are we willing to regularly spend time in prayer, even if for a few minutes each day, so that we can come to know Jesus and become familiar with his voice? We cannot expect to grow in trust if we do not come to know him. And that is what prayer is for. See, Prayer is not a mental exercise where we think about God. 
Prayer is an actual, real relationship between us and God. It can be difficult to trust someone if we don't see them as a real, living person who is present to us at this very moment, and indeed at every moment of our life. If you struggle with trusting in Jesus, then the antidote is to draw close to him. Carve out time in your week to come and visit Jesus in the Adoration Chapel. Spend some time in silence during your day, simply speaking to Jesus as a friend. Draw near to Jesus who draws near to us. Speak to Jesus heart to heart. See yourself as the child who relies on Jesus with a childlike faith, trusting in all that he has done and all that he will continue to do. Allow yourself to hear in your heart the words of Jesus from the gospel, peace be with you. Allow these words to sink deep into your heart so that you may proclaim with great confidence, Jesus, I trust in you.